My dear brothers and sisters in Carmel, we see each other again, and I'm so happy to share with you about our Saint Teresa of Child Jesus. In this second study guide, we have a beautiful text taken from Manuscript Air, The Smile of the Virgin. Saint Teresa experienced on Mary's face beauty and tenderness when she was healed. Let us see first the content and the primary meaning of this text. When Saint Zilli, Teresa's mom, died, Teresa was only four years old. Her death affected her greatly. She was devoted. Years later, she would write that the first part of my life stopped that day. Saint Louis, Teresa's father asked Pauline, whom was only 12 years old, to look after Therese. Both Therese and Pauline have a very profound relationship. And Saint Teresa said that she loved Pauline very much and felt secure with her. Enjoying, I enjoying working for Pauline. I made her little things out of cardboard. But the thing changed. In October 1882, when Teresa was nine years old, Pauline entered the Carmelite monastery in Lycée. Again, Teresa was devoted. She believed that she would never see her again, and she cried. In the depths of my heart, I know Pauline is lost to me. For Teresa, the departure of Pauline to Carmel made her remember her mom's passing, and she can't understand and refused to accept it. Under such situation, Teresa began to show signs of serious illness. She suffered from hallucination and was very fearful of life and of people. A doctor said that she was emotionally frustrated and was experiencing a neurotic attack which kept her bedridden. This was really overwhelming her, overwhelming her for her, and this little girl, who was only 10 years old, got sicker and sicker. Years later, she would write, finding no help on earth, poor little Therese had also turned toward the Mother of Heaven and prayed with all her heart that she take pity on her. All of a sudden, the Blessed Virgin appeared beautiful to me, so beautiful that never had I seen anything so attractive. Her face was suffused with an ineffable benevolence and tenderness. But what happened uh, but what penetrated to the very depths of my soul was the, lavish, uh, the ravishing smile of the Blessed Virgin. The text inspired us, and by telling us her experience, St. Teresa encourages us to have the same experience in our daily life and to share it with others. St. Teresa had a special relation with Our Lady. They love each other. Saint Teresa experienced the motherly love of Our Lady throughout her life. This is the reason why Saint Teresa called Our Lady La Petite Mary, Little Mary. For her, Mary is the best example of her teaching, the little way of trusting in the merciful love and of abandon to God. And because Our Lady is, the, is faithful to her son, lovingly serves him in daily life. St. Teresa invites each one of us first to experience the motherly love of Our Lady, to cultivate a good relationship with her daily, and second, to learn from her the power of loving God and the beauty of serving others in our daily life. St. Teresa saw in the Blessed Virgin Mary a model to follow, someone 
who loved her and was near. Mary is someone who can show her the way to Jesus. In her poem, Why I Love You, O Mary, she writes, You make me feel it. It is not impossible to follow in your footsteps, O Queen of the Elect. The narrow way to heaven, you made it visible by always practicing the humblest virtue. There is a try to follow in the footsteps of Mary, also practicing the humblest virtues. God was the center of her life. She cared for those who were near to her and become a universal missionary of God's loving mercy. So much that in practicing charity, she had found her vocation. At last, I have found my vocation. My vocation is love. Following the example of St. Teresa, we can also see in Mary a mother who loves us and is near to us, especially in the most difficult moments of our life. Mary can teach us how to live out our relationship with God, with our brothers and sisters, and the whole world. We can say with Teresa that indeed Mary is more mother than queen. Saint Teresa helped us to understand and how to give meaning to our sad and suffering experiences. She believed that suffering helped her to get closer to God and experience His power. That is why she asked God to help her in the time of pain. Finding no help on earth, poor little Therese had also turned toward the Mother of Heaven and prayed with all her heart that she take pity on her. My dear brothers and sisters, life is not merely about joy and happiness, but also about sadness, pain, suffering. Life is a mixture of all these things. She believed that God taught her to use her painful experience for good. In one of her letters, she writes, Jesus is teaching Therese to learn to draw, to profit from everything, from the good and the bad she finds in herself. Saint Teresa teaches us not only the purpose and the meaning of pain and sadness, but also why and how to accept them in our daily life. We find in her life not only the way to accept the pain and suffering, but also teaches us to trust in God's love even when things are difficult. She saw us that the grace and the divine intervention will always be there when we really trust and abandon ourselves in the loving hands of God. For Teresa, God is everything, but others also important. She writes, My greatest consolation when I was sick was to receive a letter from Pauline. I read and reread it until I knew it by heart. And I enjoy working for Pauline. St. Teresa saw us the important role of other peoples in our life. God has a special purpose when he puts someone in our life journey. Wherever we might, might be, in a religious community or in family house, we live and work with others. Then instead of focusing on their faults, failing and deficiency, of course, no one is perfect. 
But St. Teresa teaches us to look always for goodness in others. Everybody, everybody has something good. This is the way St. Teresa cultivates and increase the love in her by searching in others their virtue, their good intentions. In Story of a Soul, she writes, When I wish to increase this love in me, and when especially the devil tries to place before me the eyes of my soul, the force of such and such a sister who is less attractive to me, I hasten to search out her virtue, her good intention. Thank you very much. <laughs>